And many Linnaeus, also known as Mana, is a Roblox player who has bought the most amount of badges for Roblox. He has spent around 3 million Robux solely on them just for fun. He contributes to the community with a total of 110 various games. After the free badges update came to Roblox, he left with a seemingly impossible trial for everyone, called Completionist and True Completionist. You had to collect every of the 30,000 badges that he has ever created, not just from his main account, but countless amounts of his alts too. So I decided to take on to this challenge. Mana's Game Hub This is where our journey begins. The game itself has two beige walks and some hidden pages. Two of them are to the left of the first winner page walk, water drop and axe. Two of them are at the map corners, corner light and corner of the map, and one under the start of the main page rock. But wait, there's more! This room contains 100 randomly generated squares that have a page. When you get one, it disappears. This task really depends on RNG, so your best tactic is to stand in one place and look out for separate blocks. Also, there's pages for visiting the info room and completion is tree. Yep. Our journey will be that long. And some pages of the history area. Let's move on to the games inside the hub. Manus Beige Walk The Beige Walk is currently split into two parts, Sky and Cave. Previously there was a bonus mode which worked like current chain beige games do, teleporting you through games and give pages, but it was removed since it was quite buggy and ruined the idea of completionists. This is why I'll be skipping some of the effortless games with wide difficulty since I didn't do some of them and they don't need a guide anyway. But remember that you still have to play them even if they are not featured in this video. For now, I decide to give 105% instead of 120, I'll explain later why. First, you need to find a couple of hidden pages in Sky, like I found gold or the beige bug. The main beige walk, which consists of 16,000 pages, is not required for 100% of the game, but you can complete it as an optional task to boost your beige count. Then teleport to cave to do another beige walk and complete the scavenger hunt. There is a menu with hints for every hidden beige, so the only thing you have to do is to recount your pages, look at the hints again, follow them to gather pages and repeat again. It shouldn't be too hard, it just takes quite a lot of time. The extra 20% of the progress bar are time and rejoin pages. For me, 100% of the scavenger hunt took me around 8 hours, but given the amount of content, it's totally worth it. Old GBL This game was a previous global page leaderboard before it got moved to the pages of Roblox Air Group. But it's still open because there are lots of pages that you can get. Most of them are free, but at least some of the most confusing ones. Secret page After you go out of the leaderboard room, on the right there's an invisible truss to the top of the roof. The beige is inside one of the blocks on the roof. X pushing master. Go to this pushing platform and you will discover a new area after pushing quite enough. You will have to get all 5 pushing platforms to the million point mark and just getting them there will be enough. After that a beige giver will appear in front of the push area. Fail. There is one beige for failing the last jump of master OB and another beige for failing the one start jump. PowerShare Beige Hunt The Beige Hunt is quite easy because the map is small and open and the beige descriptions reveal their location anyway. Mana has made a guide on it along with three other games I will list later. 2000 Free Beiges Beige Walk This game is a huge troll where of 2000 pages only 8 pages of a walk are real. Yeah, I don't get why Mana would even create this game. There are also other pages for completing the obby and the long path, and also a tiny block behind the building that also seems to be a page of water. Hey guys, it's Sambumi here with a little note, so this block here it seems to be a little wedge and uh, not an actual page giver. Seems like Mana placed this by accident, so let's continue to the actual video. Find the keys. This puzzle is actually very neat and I had a great time playing it. It's uh, very easy and straightforward, but there are two pages that players can have trouble with. 
hidden page. Behind the building in music map, there is a truss that leads to the page. Play the original. The page description has the link to the old FTK. Play it, and then come back to the new one to get the page. Find the keys factory. A kind of a sequel to FTK with only one level. It's kinda confusing, but I have fun playing it, so... The page is located at the end of the level, you really can't miss it. Diamond Obby All the four pages are located at the end, but in different locations. The page descriptions basically tell what you are supposed to do, but I won't be repeating myself. Diamond Page Walk It's three pages, although I didn't know how did I get the pages for 250 years, 10,000 hours and 30 days of playtime. Maybe they are given for rejoin, I have no idea. Rope Simulator Another fun little concept, which I wish could have more content. Anyway, the pages are given as you progress, with the last one being to climb the tall mountain. April Fools Another troll game, but not in a way that you'd expect. Here, you have to get fooled in every way to get all the pages. There are some endings that can be found through fake walls and invisible ladders, so explore all the rooms to their full potential. Explaining all the endings would take too much time, so here's this guy by Mana himself. Steel Uranium Neat game, but a bit short. You get uh, one page for finishing the obby, and uh, there's another page that's located outside the playing area. You just have to explore it uh, for a bit. Steel Uranium 2 A nice sequel to the original game, and uh, it has only one page for finishing it. No secret, sadly. Rocket vs Towers Why is this extreme difficulty is not even that hard. Anyway, this simulator is very good and reminds me of the classic Roblox games. Two pages are free, and uh, one is given after you get 100 million tower money. And for the last page, you have to destroy the negative tower in the second dimension sewer. The game is really simple to learn and it has quite straightforward progression with upgrades. I like it. Marble Run this game likes to break a lot. If your camera's glitching, just wait till you get the pages for completing the track. There's one page that you can get with a one third chance by finishing track one, and it took me a couple of tries to get it. Luck Speedrun Casual OB game, nothing special. You get one page by finishing it, and uh, that's it. Puzzle it's not really a puzzle, just a walking simulator with a couple of obstacles and a conveyor. When you reach the sign at the end, just turn left and grab the page. That's it. Tycoon You have to finish the Tycoon completely to unlock the ladder to the page. I like the tiered progression, but some walls don't hold all the oars and they can easily clock up. Anyway, fun game. The List Stone Collection Oh boy, this is one of the hardest ones. The game is supposed to be a reverse page hunt, where you download the place and search for the pages on Roblox Studio, and then you get them in the actual game by checking their locations. Many amazing guides on this game, but due to the map size, it's very long and difficult to follow. But don't worry, you have to search for like 10 pages because the rest of them are free. I didn't have a great time of this, and uh, you probably won't. Uh, Cool idea, but not so nice execution. Hearts Obby This game is one of the earliest creations in the genre of difficulty charts Obby. That's why it doesn't have good gameplay or anything. However, there's one great advantage that makes the Obby possible for anyone. It's the skip system and the ability to exchange time for skips. But wait, don't repeat my mistakes and spend all your time on the skips. First, you have to give 100,000 seconds of time, which is around 28 hours of AFK or tryharding. During that time, you can get some secrets for extra skips and complete past events for pages. Oh, and that's this invisible block of a page walk that gives you the basic page and you can easily miss it. The Obi itself has 270 stages and 50 bonus stages. That's why the title says 320. After hours of grinding and skipping, You get to the last stage and receive a gravity coil as a prize. You can use it to skip the towers, which are also required for the completionists, and also give pages. 
Thank God you do not have to do an insane difficulty tower and you can just simply cheese it. Now we are done with the hard stuff and we have only small games left. So this is the end of part 1 for now. Working and editing this project was a very fun experience and it was my first time using a new editing program. Anyway, I'm already working on part 2 so if you want to support me you should subscribe and turn off the notifications. Have a nice day and see you next time!